Hi everybody and I hope all is well with you today. Today we're going to show you how to um, add a flash banner like this on your WordPress site. This is a custom banner we made for this blog. Um, WordPress, uh, the native tools that come with WordPress. WordPress doesn't have like a built-in uh, system where you can show flash, where you can use flash as media. So we'll show you how to do that today. Now you're going to need cPanel access. We're using cPanel WHM, that's the platform we use on the server. And then I'm going to show you how to convert those files using this website here. So this is really easy if you just follow along. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to log in to our cPanel. So we're going to go to the cPanel for this store here, for this website here. And you're going to go to your file manager and you're going to find where your, where your, your folders are for your site. So in this case, the folder is here, okay? And you want to go, once you get into your WordPress site, once you find the WordPress site, the folder where the WordPress site is housed, you're going to go to the WP Content folder, folder, okay? Now, you want to go to the Uploads, because that's where all your media is. Okay, so once you get to your Uploads, it's going to ask you what year. Do you want media from 2013 or do you want media from 2014? Just click on 2014 and we're in October already, so just click on 10. As the months goes on, WordPress automatically creates folders for that month just to keep you even more organized. Now we're going to upload your w your .swf files, okay? That you already have you should have in a folder somewhere on your desktop. That's where I always like to find my files. So I don't have to go through you know, Hoopla looking for them. So we're in the content folder and we're going to add our .sw file. That's your uh, Adobe uh, Flash banners, okay? Your Adobe Flash uh, animation folders, uh, files, okay? So you're going to upload and you're going to look for it. And I already put mines on a desktop here, okay? So you see the dot swf extensions here, dot swf extension there, okay? So you're gonna upload that. Okay, one at a time. I actually want to upload two. I'll go one at a time. Now I already uploaded these files and I already changed the names of these files, okay? So I renamed these files. Let's just fast forward. I renamed these files. And we'll find out here, just last modify and we'll do that. Okay, so I call this the leader banner dot SWF and the rectangle banner dot SWF. Let's start with the leader banner. After you rename the file, if you see, I had the file like this, okay? So I renamed it, okay? So if you want to use this, that's fine. Whatever the name of your file is, just remember it. Keep this page open, and let's copy this right here. Actually, right here. Okay. Actually, before you do that, you want to right-click, and you want to hit rename, okay? Because this is going to tell you where it is on the server, okay? So we're going to copy this right here. Just like that, after you rename the file. Or you can just right-click on it the way I did. And you're going to go to this tool here, www.freevideocoding.com, this website. Okay. And now what this will do is it'll look for that folder, that file on your server, and it'll give you an embed code. It'll convert it into a flash SWF embed okay so that's what we want to do here and we want to copy and paste where that image is where that file is on the server so we want to make sure we're putting HTTP in front of it okay and then what you want to do here is you want to embed the player You need to know what the dimensions are of that folder. So this is the leader banner 
actually this banner that I have up here happens to be the rectangular banner. Okay, so this is the the uh, leader banner. So that's 300 by 600. I called it leader banner, but it's really uh, 300. The leader banner is really uh, 728 by 90, but this is the skyscraper banner. So it's 300 by 600. You just have to know whatever dimensions are of that flash banner you have on your site, like this. Whatever, this is 728 by 90, but I already put that up there. We're looking for this. The dimensions for this banner that I have up are 300 by 600. Okay, so whatever, if you know the dimensions, you have to put it here, or it's not going to come out, you know, not very low quality. Okay, you want the playback quality to be high, and you don't have to put this. You don't have to do that, but let's make the HTML, okay? So this is all the HTML. Now with this, you don't need this. You don't need this right here, this start and this end. You don't you just need this, this embed code right here, okay? This HTML embed code. You want to copy that, and then you want to go back to your site, okay? Now, with this particular blog, we want this... Um, on the sidebar here. Okay, so there's a couple of things you can do. And you also want it to link, since this is an ad, you want it to link to wherever you want it to go. So with WordPress, we add new. With WordPress, you can actually, with an HTML embed, you can actually link an HTML embed within the, what we like to call the field here. Okay. Just go in here and you want to copy and paste that embed that you just got and hit this is you do this in the text okay copy and paste that and then you see the visual right here right you want to click on this to highlight it and then you want to link it whatever you want to link it to so in this case specifically we want to link it to uh, a page so this landing page is actually for the store Okay, so the landing page is for all the sports gear, as you can see here. Okay, this is where we want people to come. So I see all the categories here. So you just want to link this. Control. Copy and paste the landing page information, and you want to put that in here. Okay, you want to add the link. Okay, so now if you look at the HTML here, you can see the A tag is connected to the embed. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to copy this and you want to go to your parents. Remember, we want this on the sidebar. Your theme might support uh, a banner at the top, but standard with all WordPress themes is a sidebar widget with arbitrary text okay so if you look at this arbitrary text where you can place HTML you just grab that widget there and you want to drag it wherever you want it so this is the default sidebar we want it we want to put this like right here Mildred. like right here okay and I'll put this here just like that okay and this is all the code for that banner Now you want to check your work. So now you want to go back and you want to see if it took it. As you can see, it took it. This is it right here. You click on it. it comes here. We'll try the other one. So we'll go back to our file manager and we'll get the rectangular banner here. Just want to see where this is. So you see this is right here. So as you can see, we'll 
go back. Hi. Just here. Remember, you have to know what the dimensions are. So this is actually 300 by 250. Make this support this no I yes. Make the HTML. So as you can see, we got this right here. Remember, don't copy the bottom, just this. Go back to your WordPress. Put a new post on there. Make sure this is selected on widget. The text start. They go visual. As you can see, this is 300. So, what you want to do, insert your link. Where do you want it to go? Okay, and then you hit the add link. Here, copy this. Okay, parents, widgets, arbitrary text. Arbitrary text. You want to save it. We'll take a look at it. And you see, this is here. That's that. It's simple. It is as simple as that. Remember, go to freevideocoding.com to embed your, S, your .swf files. Thank you. Follow us on Twitter at GoPryWeb and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.